Hey everybody, not an Arb3 here, and um, quite a few changes have happened since I last recorded. Um, at the same time, quite little has happened. Um, you understand what I mean. But I'm going to start off by getting some Feather Falling 4. Hell yeah. Let's see what the next one is. Protection 3, not bad. But I think I will save my levels see if I can enchant something else later. Um, but I'm tempted to put those right away onto my boots. I still need to go to more well, find the end. And along with that, um, I need to go to the nether and pick up some more glowstone. I need to do that for this project down here. So yes, quite a lot has happened in here. Uh, I don't believe this stuff was up last time. And I've moved my cows down here, uh, killing off a lot of them. Um, ignore this sign. <laughs> so I've finished, well, this would be a pretty much finished cell. Um, Ah, I know what's different here and why I'm getting such bad frame rate. There we go, that jumped it up about not as much as I wanted it to. But it makes it so you can't see the torches behind there. <laughs> Which is how I play, so that's the point. Um, but I do need to go find more dirt. As well as I need more glowstone to do the lighting under here. Um, along with that, I need to find some piggies and some sheep so I can use carpet on top of here instead of these things, um, which aren't entirely necessary. They just complete the look for now. I don't know what color of carpet. Probably brown. Um, but yeah, I need more glowstone. I just harvested the uh, tree farm, so I've got tons of wood. I got over two stacks of wood that time. And yeah, more dirt to finish under there. So this area is wrapping up. Um, I've I've been going back and forth deciding if I wanted to switch the stone inside of this area, the more doing air quotes here developed area, um, or leave it as it is. Um, I'm still not sure about that. I would use the smooth andesite. Um, but I definitely like the stone with a few ores, well, just that ore, really, around here. I dug that slightly deeper, and, I mean, that being the biggest change is down there. I put a lot of work into that. Uh, I finally moved all my crap into here. Got tons of andesite in case I wanted to do that. Um... Yeah, tons of wood. Some of my more rare stuff. Hey, give that back. Um, torches, junk blocks, wood, um, coal. That's still all my iron. That's still all my smooth stone. And we're still cooking it. And these awesome furnace setups. And I still don't know why these are called furnaces instead of like smelters or a forge or something. But hey. Um, so yeah, I cleaned up outside here, uh, I've been harvesting that quite a bit, and I did a lot more cave lighting, a little bit of a dark spot here, uh, yeah, I did a lot more cave lighting, that stuff is still here, and I don't know how, it's got to have been more than five minutes being loaded, um, so I discovered a cave right so I guess it's over here um, which I dug down and got rid of um, still need to fix this um, and then there was some caves out behind the spawner that I took care of um, 
but we can go to it now. It is doing much better. I also added, oh, probably about two layers since the last time. And I realize some damn spiders. Um, on the topic of those spiders and this mob spawner, um, the spawn rates will be a little bit better. I do realize that the back set of uh, dispensers isn't actually hooked up. Um, I need to, um, well, like I was saying on the topic of the spawner and spiders, I'm not sure whether I want to delete the, well, not delete, but clear out the inside and do an etho style spawner. Um, thank you. Um, instead of how I'm doing it, just to avoid having spiders in there. Um, although spiders are useful for their string, they're not... I've found so many cave spider spawners that it's not entirely worth it anyways. Uh, most of this crap I can take back. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure whether that's something I want to do, or if... Yeah, you can hear quite a few mobs in there now, but none of them are falling down. So that's why the flushing system is handy. Um, but Etho's design definitely has some perks being... Uh, it doesn't spawn spiders. It has relatively fast spawn rates because... Or mob dropping down the kill hole rates. Um, just for the fact that uh, there's not a whole lot of surface... Uh, for the mobs to have to walk um, in order to fall. So, I'm um, probably going to play around in creative and dabble with that idea. See how I can best fit it into that room and any modifications. Um, I'd imagine I would be knocking out the floors using the bottom layer as kind of a collection layer. Um, I really don't understand how the spiders can see me. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Whew. That was really close. Um, but yeah, I don't know how the spiders can see me from there, but it's really annoying. Um... So, yeah, this project is still kind of on hold. Um, I really don't know what to do with it. Um, quite possibly hollow it out and turn it into an etho spawner. Just... I saw a cave under there. Um, and this is how I've found most of my caves, it's just through chunk errors. There was something over there, I think. And those are actually pockets of water. I don't know if I've showed or said that. But yeah, weird pockets of water. Um, I widened the gap here so I could get a boat in. And other than that, that's about all that's changed. Um, I'm really not quite sure what I'll be up to this episode or if I will be doing anything at all. Um, I really want to get working on a chicken, automatic chicken farm. Um, but... I played in creative for quite a while the other day, trying to figure out the best design uh, to do what I'm trying to do. And... To fit it into this area is not that difficult because I can build farther back. Um, these walls here will... I'm debating whether to do a wall like that along here and then... I don't know. Um, basically just that. And then having the 
front of the chicken thingamajig right here, or what exactly I'm doing back here. Um, but I want like two cells, so it have to be like there and there, and one where all the chickens are standing, pooping out eggs, the other one where the chickens get spawned into, then killed when they grow up. And that was the biggest challenge, and I still haven't mastered it, was um, knowing when the chicken had grown up, and and being able to do things in reaction to that. So... Whoa, that little cow jumped high. Um, but yeah, because unlike with cows, where a baby cow is one block high and a grown cow is two blocks high, so you throw a blade of lava at this level and it only gets the grown-up cows, uh, it doesn't work that way for chickens. And, um, I really guess, I guess I don't really have that much of a use for chickens, um, as I mostly eat cow's beef, because it just provides more food, uh, more chicken nuggets down there, but, um, there's no easy way to mass breed cows, so... Um, that being said, uh, I'm going to head to the nether, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Well, I am back from the nether, and I got a little over a stack. Um, I put the stack back into my chest there, and I found I had to turn up the render distance a lot in the nether. Uh-oh. Okay, good, I got the piece back. Uh, in order to be able to find any glowstone, just because it has such high ceilings and such, um, I would record in the nether, but the frame rate is so bad as it is, um, the recording it's just unplayable. And that's something I've never understood with Minecraft. Why is the nether so horribly optimized in comparison to the overworld? Like, there's so much more happening in the overworld at any given time than in the nether, and yet it's so bad. Maybe it's graphics-wise. Graphics care doesn't enjoy... So, there are so many repeating patterns. Um, that would really be my only guess. Um, but yeah, guys, I still haven't decided um, what to do with this back wall here, and I do want to get started on this chicken machine. Uh, I'm still just not sure the best way of sorting baby chickens and live chickens other than the fact that baby chickens don't swim. That is the only characteristic to go by that differentiates them from the grown-up chickens who bounce in the water. So at one point I did, in my um, creative world, I did have something there um, where it tried to uh, it dispensed water quickly, so the chickens would jump, or well, although grown-ups, take the water away, then spit out some lava, so they'd be mid-air and get hit by lava. Um, which only got maybe two or three of the grown chickens, the rest would fall too quickly. So, that wasn't a good method, you needed to run it quite a few times to get all the grown-up chickens. So I'm just heading out here to... I see we have sheep here, I didn't bring any leads. Um, I'm mostly here though for dirt. 
just to go out in an open place somewhere I don't visit often like here and just wreck it up um, but there sure are an awful lot of cows around here and I'm not going to complain um, I guess I'll just dig here I don't have efficiency on this shovel so it's quite slow digging um, I may as well just get a stack or something while I'm here uh, so this episode is probably going to be a little bit shorter as I've been busy trying to work on getting my app out there um, if you guys haven't checked it out already you can check the online version at nod3.net uh, as well as I have other games and whatnot up there. Um, but with that being said, thank you guys for watching, and I will be working on something. Um, and hopefully, I'll have more to show me doing, I guess, next time. Next time, I'll probably start on. Um, I'll probably start on the chicken machine, uh, assuming I find a chicken somewhere. Um, I thought I had a chicken up at my base because a sp uh, baby zombie spawned while riding one. Uh, obviously I killed the zombie off of it, but the chickens seem to despawn as well, so that kind of sucks. Um, but yeah guys, I'll see you next episode. Thanks for watching.